With the virus spreading quickly across the country, now over 90% of Americans have been issued to stay at home. That means many workers around the country are just now realizing that according to the government, they're non-essential. But honestly, I don't think I've cared about a single weather forecast for like the last two weeks now. What's the point if you're not even allowed to leave your house? Teachers around the country who are trying to teach virtually are having issues with fake students entering into video calls and creating loud noises and distractions. Officials are calling it Zoom bombing, but economics professors, they just call it a wake-up call. You hear about these? Dozens of companies are offering free online trials for people stuck at home. So if you're taking this time to be productive and learn something new, like how to speak French or play the guitar, then good for you. And to all your families, I'm sorry. How about this? If March Madness hadn't been canceled, the final four would actually be taking place today. Yep, but now this is the only final four I care about. I'll take strawberry any day of the week. Speaking of college basketball, on Friday, the Naismith Trophy for Most Outstanding Women's Basketball Player was awarded to Sabrina Unescu from the University of Oregon. Awesome. Now, she does have a tough last name to pronounce, so you can just do what opposing coaches do after a tough loss and refer to her as Sabrina the Teenage Bitch. No, no, no. Sabrina's awesome, and as you can tell, Photoshop is not on my resume. I actually had a bunch of other March Madness jokes, but uh, because of the virus, I had to cancel them. Moving on. Did you guys catch this? Last week, Fifty Shades of Grey star Dakota Johnson gave a video tour of her L.A. home to the magazine Architectural Digest. Her house was gorgeous, but I think she might have skipped the one room we were all waiting to see. People on Twitter are asking for Elon Musk to help create ventilators for hospitals in need. Yeah, because last time Elon tried to help humanity with his little kid submarines, it worked out so well for him. Meghan Markle and Harry, whatever his last name is, have decided to permanently move to Los Angeles. That's right, but like other young actresses who upset their parents and moved to L.A., she's now a part-time waitress at the Olive Garden. Because when you're here, you're royal family. But honestly, what the hell's Harry's last name? Stay safe, wash your hands.